This is Deborah from South Sudan. Deborah is a single mother of four children and a survivor of one of Africa's longest and bloodiest civil wars. This is Hergera in Bosnia and Herzegovina. She's also a mother and a survivor of the Bosnian War. Both women have struggled to support their families, but today they're looking forward to brighter futures because they've become businesswomen. Since its founding, Women for Women International has helped nearly 400,000 women become businesswomen through a holistic training approach. I think the first step to becoming a businesswoman is building self-confidence. This is something that we've seen across the board, that women who come into the program feel isolated. Often they feel that their opinions don't count, that they haven't had the opportunity to express themselves. I always say we don't empower women, we help women recognize their power. And I think there's a very important to make that distinction because the moment we sort of think we're coming, we empowering women is that we are giving them something. What it is is there, what they have in terms of that power, in terms of that um, sense of like I can do something, it's there, but it's dormant. Hergera earns her income by growing and selling medicinal herbs, skills she learned through the Women for Women International program. Women for Women International teaches participants marketable vocational skills, ranging from farming and bread making to tailoring and jewelry making, as well as business skills. I think one of the most um, helpful parts of our program was our business training. This is designed to take the vocational skills that women are learning, whether it's in agriculture or beekeeping or dairy production, not only to learn those technical skills, but how to transform them into a business, into an income earning opportunity. When women like Deborah earn an income, they're able to provide for their families, save money, employ other women in the community, and send their children to school, including their daughters. Deborah supports her family by farming and running a small store. So I think it's the holistic approach and the, the technical, um, technical skills combined with business that help to create an environment where women can be successful in business.